And now making his way to the blue corner after a six year layoff, we have Rodney Lipper. Rodney last fought in February of 2017, but he is chomping at the bit and eager to get back in there and try to get back on that, that winter circle, get his hand raised tonight. He's gonna have a strong test in a well-versed martial artist coming from the Subhounds and DCO with James McCulloch. Jimmy McCulloch is also a veteran of the Colorado Combat Club cage. It's definitely going to be uh, an interesting matchup in the sense of the physical dynamics of this one, Josh. You have Rodney, who is the much longer and lengthier fighter in the matchup. So it'll be interesting to see how he uses, uses that distance and tries to be efficient and effective with his range. Especially against somebody like Jimmy, who came out swinging and bagging against Jesse Brookshire just a couple of months ago, did land some effective shots in that first round. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's always interesting to see styles of different uh, body types because it makes a huge difference in the fight. But with the long layoff coming in at 40 years old, let's see what the guy got left. It's always fun to see these guys get in here and chase after it. Certainly, I mean, he, he's representing himself. He claims uh, an independent if affiliation. So, you know, sometimes that on the local scene has some uh, has some varying results. Yeah. And third man in the cage tonight, referee Yoel Ojeda. Jimmy McCulloch says one of his favorite martial arts influence was Don Fry. How's that mustache looking out there, Kurtz? Is that a little Don Fry-ish? It's definitely got some shades of Don <laughs> Fry. You know, if, he, if he has a little bit of that testosterone dripping off of Don Fry, then he's in good shape. Nice shot defended by Rodney. Now we're up against the cage. Good rotation in the clinch from Ronnie to reverse the position. Knee to the body from Jimmy Lands, though. Nice reversal by Jimmy. Strong couple of knees to the body again by Jimmy in the clinch here. This is grueling to start off the, the fight. Both men are fresh, and now we got some grappling up on, again, on the cage. As a whole, you really can't go wrong with any of uh, Jimbo Slice's influences out there, folks. He, he lists some of his top influence, as Josh mentioned, Don Fry, the legendary Iceman Chuck Liddell, Max Holloway, and his favorite fighter of all, Hendo, Dan Henderson. Dan Hendo. 
Now we have Jimmy breathing a little heavy. Definitely a grueling pace so far. Caught the kick that Rodney threw. Finished the takedown now up against the cage. He's gonna need to be careful with his head low in this position. Defense is right there for Rodney if he wants to start trying to work his way there and scrape his uh, scrape his back up. But a couple big of big punches, punches right there from Jimmy. Jimmy. And Jimmy oh, now pounces the neck. Joke. Jumps He's on got it. One boot. Rodney doing a good job fighting hands right now. And shout out to Adrian Nigel of Fighter's Eye. Got a second little camera view for us right here, helping us out with the post block in the view. You have Jimmy starting to formulate the rear naked choke. It's across the jaw right now, not all the way underneath the chin, but he's cranking it, and it's in he's a tough position now, right now. That, he's and tough, that man. is that all is over. Good job. First round submission for Jimbo Slice, Jimmy McCall. Jordan, I just want to say these first two fights, even though they are low level amateurs, like with minimal experience, the wrist ride, the wrist grabbing, uh, Jimmy had a Dagestani handcuff up against the cage at one point, doing really good job of distracting the opponent with grabbing the wrist, making them think about something else, and was able to sneak in the rear naked choke. That was two fights in a row now we had that. Certainly, both fights start off with submissions. You have the, uh, the, the sub hounds holding up to the name right now with Jimmy McCullough picking up that first round submission here. Folks, if you're following along at home, reach out to Josh or I, let us know what you think of the card so far. You could tweet out to the hashtag CCC18 or reach out to us on social media. That's Josh the Big Yin's friend at Josh Friend MMA or me, Jordan Kurtz, at comments from the peanut gallery. And our official ruling per Aaron Barrow. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Steps in at 2 minutes and 23 seconds of the very first round. Preparing your winner to be a rear naked choke, Mr. James And we are through two bouts thus far on the comments from the Peanut Gallery undercard here at Colorado Combat Club 18. We do also want to give a quick shout out to a couple other sponsors on the card. That is Prodigy House Muay Thai as well as Black Guardian Kennel Labs.